What's good, y'all? Um, I hope you had an interesting week. You know what I'm saying? I had an interesting week. It was pretty dope. Sorry I couldn't give y'all all the videos that I planned on giving y'all, so it is what it is. But I've seen a lot of people out there did review the shit that I didn't get a chance to review, so yeah, man. But King back, so let's get into it. Mixtape review, Capo, GLONL2. Now, uh, I seen an interview with this nigga during the time where, you know, the Migo shit was going on. They asked him, yo, what's popping with you and the Migos? What's up with the next project? So he basically said this project is going to be more, I guess, cohesive in a sense that he actually uh, didn't freestyle all of the project. The first one, GL, GLONL1, he basically freestyled and was in the studio tweaking and shit, doing what he do. So this one, he actually... Said he put some thought into it. Uh, 17 Tracks is also on um, iTunes. So I finally checked it out. Like, let me get some. Let me just clear the air real quick. When I be hearing projects, even though if they drop and I'll probably review it three days later, I've already heard them a week straight. When Lupe, I did my review, it may I may have did the review and uploaded it after the album drop. I already listened to it a week prior to that. So... When people be going in and saying that how can you review a project, you know, a couple days after it dropped, bruh, to anybody, you know, already listen to the shit a week prior. We all know music leaks a week before the shit come out. I'm just uploading it during the week that the album dropped. So let's just clear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I hear all these albums before they even have the release date and before they even drop. You feel what I'm saying? So by the time it come out, and it's in stores online, and people go pick it up, and then you see reviews for it, I already heard it. So it's not that I didn't have time to digest that shit. I just want to get that shit off my chest. But anyway, this mixtape, it wasn't that great. Like, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, he definitely took all of Chief Keef ad-libs. He definitely sound like Chief Keef. You know what I mean? He has some decent joints on here. But at the end of the day, out of 17 tracks, I only liked 11 of them. You know, and either it was the production on the song, the hook, his ad-libs, or his flow. You know what I mean? The first track, uh, Ye, Ye Kim featuring Chief Keef, I didn't fuck with it. Uh, the second track, You Lying featuring Tato, I fuck with that. That shit was dope. I definitely liked that hook. His lyrics was basic as shit. Y'all already know that he's not a lyricist, you know what I'm saying? You either love him or like him for the beats and, you know, the vibe of the record. Number three, gang in this bitch. That shit go hard. I definitely fuck with that shit. You know what I mean? So he like no more squads. Gang in this bitch. I fuck with that shit. That shit was dope. The hook, the beat. Um, number four through six, smoking dope. The feds. I'm sick. I didn't like none of them. And I'm on. I'm sick. He sound just like Chief Keef. It don't sound like no different. So I definitely didn't like that part. Uh, number seven, what you get featuring Lil Herb. Lil Herb murdered that shit. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing as well, but Herb, he killed that shit. Number eight, Widow's Remix. I fuck with that song. That shit, that shit go. That shit dumbass not. Number nine, As They Say. I like the beat. The hook is kind of relatable in a sense. It got a dramatic feel to it. I definitely like that. I thought that was one of the better songs. If he would have rapped kind of like that on his mixtape, I think I would have enjoyed it more. Now featuring Chief Keith, that beat was fucking crazy. I definitely fuck with that. Number 11, Need a Bitch. And number 12, Frost. I didn't like that. Number 13, uh, I Know featuring Lil Mouse. I fuck with that shit. You know, I think this was on Lil Mouse mixtape as well. Number 14, No Loss. Um, I definitely fuck with that. That shit was dope as hell, man. Um, 15, Diamonds. I didn't like the hook that much, but I thought the song was straight. My Turn. I fuck with that joint heavy. That shit go. Hobby Remix featuring Just Glow. Um, it was dope. Basically, Money Talk. You know what I'm saying? I think he should shoot a video for that because I definitely fuck with that record. Overall, I get this project a 6 out of 10. I like 11 out of 17 records, like I said. Production about... Five and a half, six out of ten. Nothing too special, you know what I'm saying? I think he overhyped it. He oversold it and basically was saying like it was some dope shit. And it really wasn't, you know what I mean? So all this wait for nothing. It was supposed to drop January, what, 2013, I think. And two years later it came out. So it is what it is. You know, shout out to Capo though, you know what I mean? Hopefully he actually could put that pen to that pad and actually say something because I'm hearing the features and the features are the best part of this mixtape, man. Not saying he's a lazy rapper or a whack rapper. I just feel like he hit and miss. He got potential, but I just feel like if he could get out of Chief Keef's shadow, he can definitely do his thing. Look what SD did. He got away from all that shit and definitely stood out on his own. But I just feel like Coppa was just a, a knockoff Sosa in a sense. I mean, 
he stole his ad libs. I was like, yo, what the fuck? Why is this nigga stealing his ad libs? I'm like, that's crazy. Like, I'm I'm cool. Like, you know, I mean, it's straight. It is what it is. Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. Shout out to everybody been fuck with me. Shout out to new subscribers. I see y'all. I'm out.